today is going home day. Can you hear that noise? I'm going to open the door. See? Even Ruido so sad that we're going. Now over around that corner there's a family of deer sheltering under a tree but I don't know if I can film them without startling them. I might try and do it from through one of the windows. Standing very still. I know I'm here. That's us, all packed up and ready to go. We're leaving this beautiful cabin. I'm sad, but I'm looking forward to sleeping in my own bed. I've just done the final walk through. I'm about to close the door. And that's us, done. Bye, cabin. Door's locked. And I'm just going to say goodbye to this spectacular view behind me. It's glorious. We've got a long day ahead of us on the road. <laughs> We've just stopped by the bins. We've got two bags of trash in the car. All of our windows are open and we're all breathing through our mouths and just choking. It absolutely stinks. <laughs> Oh, we're so happy to be getting rid of this rubbish. <laughs> we decided that we were coming home a different way. We we're on the US 60. Yep, US 60. Because it's a lot more attractive than traveling on the freeway. Some really nice scenery. Beautiful. over because Rich is actually going to let me drive his brand new car but we're at a place called Magdalena Fault so don't know if you can see the mountains behind me where the mountains meet the pastures is actually a fault line didn't even know that existed now I'm gonna drive the car don't know how okay I don't know how good this is gonna be I've got a car coming I've got a car overtaking now. All right, let's start. I don't know how much of this you can see, but this is called a very large array. Uh, lots and lots of satellite dishes. And apparently that's where the Jodie Foster movie Contact was filmed. Here we go, the Arizona state line. We're nearly home. <laughs> Actually, we're about halfway into our journey. We've been going for about four-ish hours now. But we'll be in our home state soon. We've stopped uh, in a little place called Eager in Arizona. We're going to have some lunch at Trail Riders Restaurant, stretch our legs for a bit, and then start on the next leg of our journey. This is the Trail Riders menu. Um, lunch and dinner are available after 11 so I will skip all the breakfasts um, I think Xander has decided to go with Ooh. the bean and cheese burrito and we've got choices of salads burgers sandwiches Ooh, and then there's the Mexican plates an actual dinner steak, chicken, oh, liver and onions, yep. Yep, yep. I'm going to have a look and decide what I want. We've made our order and this just got delivered to the table. So it's a plate of uh, chips and salsa. And I was like, that's a bit strange, but of course, there's three of us. So we have three little cups and I'm guessing this is something that they've done to get around people sharing bowls because obviously people have had to adapt with COVID. 
what a what a neat little idea. So I guess you just pour your salsa in and that's it. I'm guessing Xander doesn't want any. No, just the chips. Okay. That would be a small sirloin steak sandwich for Rich. I got a uh, buffalo chicken wrap and Xander. Move your elbow, elbow out of the way. A cheese and bean burrito, which I'm sure he's going to enjoy. Yeah, but the cheese is on top of the burrito. That's okay, no, there'll be cheese inside as well. We've just finished lunch. As you can see, Sandra and I are walking. Rich got fed up with us and kicked us out the car. No, we're just getting a bit of fresh air, aren't we, kiddo? Taking a walk up to the gas station because Daddy's going to fill up with gas. And we'll see him when we get up there. There he is. He likes you later. We have just stopped at the Salt River Canyon pee break. There's a bridge over the canyon. I'm going to show that to you now, but I have to tell you, I've just been to the toilet and it is literally a hole in the ground. There's no flush, no nothing. You just pee into a hole in the ground. Really, really weird. This is the bridge over the canyon. That's where we're going now. We're going to have a look. We've actually got water because there's been so much rain. I had no idea this existed. I mean, the, the scenery here is nothing short of spectacular. I mean, these, these rocks and these mountains, these formations. Yeah. This is the, the river. Like I said, I don't know how much of this is because of all of the rain that we've had you know is it is it normally drier than this i have no idea but i'm really impressed by it i had no idea this was here what a lovely little stop which is good because you can see the cars coming around the bend and then if we go around this way the road bends up more and it is just literal switchbacks all the way. We've, we've come down, I guess we're going to go up now. After 11 hours on the road today, we are home. Uh, it is, we left at 9 o'clock this morning, it's just coming up for 7 now. Um, actually by the time we got home I'd say 10 and a half hours. There is an hour time difference between here and New Mexico, so once we crossed over the state line, we went back an hour, which is nice because it means we got home a bit earlier than we thought we were going to. Um, the route that we took was spectacular. Some of the views were, were fantastic. Uh, so it made up for it, although there were a lot of long, straight roads, um, but less boring than if we were on the freeway. So I think all in all, it was a good choice that we made. We've had an utterly fantastic week. I mean, the, the, the baby mule deer and the bear, I mean, that was just, wow. Um, they, they just completed everything for us. It was fantastic. It was a good week away. Um, we didn't want to leave, but boy, am I glad to be sleeping in my bed tonight. Um, so if you have followed along on this, this jaunt of ours, thank you very much. Uh, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you'd like to see more of our content and ring that notification bell. We'll see you on our next jaunt. Thank you very much for following along.